Super mega awesome time. Bam, let's do this. While we're waiting for opponent, if you guys haven't heard of an awesome, awesome service that, uh, uh, amazing service that we like to use here at Game Breaker is uh, Shutterstock. Shutterstock.com provides over 20 million illustrations, vectors, video clips. I know I, I've talked a lot about how um, I've been working on a feature film and Shutterstock was an absolute necessity for me when I was doing this, just uh, the graphics, the moon effects, the intro transitions that I used. Um, I received them all from Shutterstock.com. So if you guys are in the creative field or trying to make maybe YouTube videos or trying to create a channel, Shutterstock.com offers a lot of great, great assets. Uh, and if you guys head on over there right now and use the offer code GAMEBREAKER8, you'll get 30% off uh, your new account. Now I've got nothing I can do here. No cards that are low enough that are going to mean anything. So I'll just end my turn. Let Thrall be. And see what he can pull up. Gonna play the coin. This might mean he's either gonna play a card or maybe use his toad to amp. There it is, his totem call. Brings him out a wrath of air for some spell power. Leaving me with still nothing left to do. I'm kind of in a situation where I'm getting all these high cards early, which I didn't want, but I can cast my spell here on his totem, which means I can take it down next turn. Next turn, I'll also be able to play either my Shattered Sun Cleric or my Earthen Ring Farseer, depending on if he does direct damage to me or not. Let's see what he can pull out here, though. Bring me Flipping over a Master swordsman, uh, Swordsmith. At the end of your turn, what now? At the end of the turn, give a random friendly minion plus one attack. That's alright, because that's not going to be able to attack. Why? Because I'm going to play a card. Hmm... I don't have a plus one card. Here, here's a little bit of a gamble. I don't have a plus one card. I could lay down a minion. This would basically, I'd lose my battle cry effect here, which would be pointless. I, wonder. I could technically try and summon something that he summons, but uh, not necessarily sure if he's going to play anything that I want and only turn three. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave my field open, get rid of his totem, and just end my turn. Looks like he's got a kind of a last resort. He's just going to summon up another totem, a Searing Totem this time. If he was smart, he will most likely play his Master Swordsmith against me to do one damage. That might signify the end of his turn. Now, I'm definitely hurting myself a little bit here by leaving my field open at such an early point in the game. But... I personally feel like it's safer to take low damage up front in the early turns and stockpile your cards for when you actually need them um, rather than unloading them all within the first few seconds. So I'm going to go one more turn doing nothing but a fire blast and see where that gets me. Hopefully nothing crazy comes out or else I'm going to wish that I wish that I had my mirror entity down. He's going to summon another totem. Nothing that my Fire Blast can't take care of, but he's going to turn around and most likely attack with his Master Swordsmith. What you want? As well as throw down a Frost Wolf Grunt. See, now I'm not necessarily so against playing my Farseer. I'm going to only get two health out of it. I'm not going to get the full effect, but at least I'm going to get my health back. And I can still take out his totem like that. Now it puts me in the field. I'm now got something on the field. I got something to take care of his taunt card. Really want to focus on his swordsmith, but until I get another monster on the field, there's not really anything I can do. It's 
So at the moment, kind of just waiting. He's going to throw another totem at me. Totem is going to be a stone skin totem, or stone claw totem. So now I got two things to deal with in terms of taunt. He seems to be doing the same strategy as I am. He's not going to unload all his cards early. He knows I'm probably holding on to this flame strike here. He's going to lightning bolt and deal with my card just like that, which means he's going to be able to follow up with at least three damage right on top of me without being able to do much about it. Now I've got my Ice Lance card. This can freeze an enemy, which is always nice. I can play a three and a three. So let's go ahead and play this Mirror Entity. Well, no, I don't want to play that yet. I want to save it. So what I will do though, so that he gets kind of caught in a little bit of a situation, if you control a secret card at the end of your turn, gain 2-2, two, two. this is going to buff my guy up to 5-5, five, five. and we'll throw a Fire Blast over at our Stone Claw Totem. That way I don't have to attack that one next turn. Although I should have probably done that to the Orc. Now that I think about it, except I got, if I have to attack the orc, I'm going to take more damage for that. So, a little bit of a mess up. I can still recover. One damage, not that big of a deal. Hey, wait a second. I did not play my secret card. I totally thought I played my secret card, uh, and I did not. So, big mistake playing my Arcanist, thinking that he was going to get a little bit of a buff there, when he clearly didn't. Fortunately, next round, though, I'm going to be able to play my Flame Strike. That's going to clear his board, but it will drain all my mana. So let's see where he kind of puts himself here. He's going to summon a Harvest Golem, which is going to come back as a Damage Golem. Turn around. Basically brings me down about 4 health. Now I could clear his board right now. Or I could go one more turn. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. I'm going to have to play my Flame Strike just to get rid of his field. It's going to bring back his Golem, but I'm not even going to mess with him. I don't want to take the damage. I'm just going to come here and do the direct damage to Thrall to try and catch back up here in terms of where I'm at on damage. Thrall looking through his cards. Placing down another totem. Another Searing Totem. That's enough to take me out if he so chooses. Squire, attend me. He's going to summon a Silverhand Knight. I love this card. Even if I'm a mage, um, I, I, I have two of these in my main deck just because it's nice to get that extra oomph. Which now it kind of, this is exactly where I wanted to be with my, uh, my last Flame Strike. He, he keeps kind of overwhelming me here with the amount of cards that he has. Hopefully I'm going to put myself into a place, though, that I can come back and do some significant damage once I have a little bit of mana behind me. So now I can play my six and I can play two. He still doesn't have a taunt card down. I can freeze a character. I can also buff one of my own. What to do? What to do? If I play a four, I'll only have one. That means I can ice lance. But if I play a three, must the sun well. and then a three, now at the end of my turn, my ethereal arcanist will uh, go up even more. Let's get rid of. The one. He's got more attack. My arcanist can attack, but I don't want to attack just yet. Actually, you know what? I could probably I could probably get away with taking out this squire. It won't kill me. It will kill me when he comes back around. But if I do get this 2-2 like I think that I do, it should bring my health back up that I can take care of him as well. So now I'm just kind of hoping he summons something useful to the field so I can steal it with my secret card. He's going to summon a totem. That totem gives him additional spell power. But it looks like he still might be considering summoning something. Give me something good. You got eight mana. 
I know you want to summon something good. He summons a boar. Thank you for the boar, Thrall. I really appreciate it. That was that was so kind of you. You you read through everything that I wanted to do. So it looks like he's going to try and follow up here. He's not going to be able to finish me off. He's going to have to use this uh, Silverhand Knight if he wants to do anything about it. Unless he has a spell. Anything at all. Anything at all. Thunderbolt. You're running out of time, Thrall. You're running out of time. Lightning Strike! That's gonna deal... Wow, a lot. How much did that do? Deal three... Oh, four. It's all damage enemies. Because he had his spe extra spell power down here. He got a little bit of a increase out of it, unfortunately. Wild Pyromancer. After you cast a spell, deal one damage to everything. So here's what we can do. If we play my Pyromancer. And we freeze... That's going to deal one to everything. Can follow up with an attack to his totem. And on top of that, it looks like I can still summon a water elemental. So let's do that. Now it looks like my wild pyromancer actually, yep, he took damage from that as well. Good thing I played him first before playing down my water elemental. Thrall can't attack this turn. It'll be interesting to see what he tries to come up with. Unless he plays a charge card. Looks like Thrall's gonna turn around and play a Stranglethorn Tiger, which I can't attack until he decides to come out from stealth. Now I can play my Taunt card, which I most likely want to do. That'll leave me with four, and I can play my mage. But my mage, I don't want to play my mage yet. Mostly because I don't have any spells to follow up with, so it's kind of pointless. Hmm. So what I think I will do is I will play my Silver Hand Knight. Ready, sir. Follow up with an attack to kill that. Bring my... Actually, this has no attack, so I won't take any damage from this. We'll get rid of his totem as well. And follow up with a Fire Blast Thrall. Thrall, considering what he wants to do, he summons another totem, as usual. Thrall's got a really good ability to just kind of keep something on the field with that ability, even if it doesn't necessarily provide him much. It's going to provide him a heal here, so that's perfect. He's going to be able to get back some of the health that I've done to him, as long as I leave that totem up. Um, but obviously, it's not in my best interest to do so, so if he doesn't take out my squire, I'm going to have to follow up with my squire to get rid of that totem. Um, looks like I'm going to have to do more than just my squire here, because that card is going to give his totem four health. And my squire goes away anyway, so there's not really anything I can use him for. He's going to equip Doomhammer, which is going to give him two attack. He's going to follow up and most likely attack. Oh, he's going to attack Jaina. I would have actually probably gone for my Silverhand Knight, so I couldn't take out his healing stream. He gets to attack twice. Does it give him Wind Fury? It does give him Wind Fury. So that explains why he was able to attack twice. Mmm, coming out of stealth with your tiger. I see what you're doing now. Got my Raging Worgen. And my Worgen only takes, gets, I believe, increased attack if he takes damage. So let's play this Taunt card. Let's play my Wind Fury. Now my Taunt card will take care of him all by himself. I could take him out right now, but I would pretty much immobilize. Darn it, he's going to get that back. He's going to get it from his healing stream, so i got to take his tiger out. Nothing I can do about that. I don't want him to get the heal back. So I'm just going to have to do that. Let's see what else. Let's see what else Thrall can throw at me. Keep taking out his totems. I'm in a pretty good lineup. i got a good taunt card for defense. 
Thrall throwing down. Nope, not throwing down. Thrall not making up his mind. Looks like Thrall's going to turn around. He's going to try and use a spell on my Worgen. But it doesn't look like he's able to. He's got to go after my taunt card. Throwing down a fire elemental. That's a lot of attack for a fire elemental. Holy cow. Thrall, look, th looks like Thrall keeps forgetting that he has to attack my taunt card. And he would have taken a lot of damage for that, so it's probably a, in his best interest to not have attacked my Lord of the Arena. Kirantor Mage. Next secret you play costs zero, but I don't have any secrets to play. At this point, I have got to start getting tricky here. I'm holding on to these spell powers because I'm hoping to draw a spell power card, but it does not look like it's going to be in my favor here. So... First things first, we gotta get rid of his fire elemental here, but my taunt card will actually do that for me. So I'm gonna take my worgen and attack that. I'm then gonna follow, I should have actually probably taken my water elemental, but oh well. Follow up and hit thrall, take this, use two here to get rid of his totem. Now he's gotta go after my taunt card, so I know I'm safe there. I'm gonna play this seven card with the stealth for the seven attack to follow up with my six attack right to thrall's face. Back in the game a little bit. Unless Thrall can pull out a, a massive amount of AoE damage, I think I've got a decent field here of monsters. Or minions. Pulling out a taunt card himself with 7 health. Or die, or both. And a cult master. As well as following up with another totem. That's another healing totem, too, so I'm going to have to take care of that. That at least gets rid of his, uh, uh, his fire elemental there. My, Actually, my rogue here, this can take care of, uh, my Ravenhold assassin can take care of his warden, no problem. Here's my arcane explosion that I was hoping for. So if I lay down here, let's see, it's a little bit of overkill. If I lay down... Four and two. Four and two and three. I can play my Kieran Tor Mage as well. Hmm. I don't want to throw all my minions down though. Let's not get too ridiculous. I only need two spell power here in order to take out his minions with my arcane explosion. So hmm. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play my Archmage. Ready for this? Follow up with Arcane Explosion. Then follow that up with, yeah, looks like my assassin is the best <laughs> Problem. and only option. Follow up there with that and follow up with one final fire blast. And I'm taking the lead. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna gloat or, or, or praise just yet. Thrall could easily turn this around with, uh, with some proper cards here. I'm in a good stance. I've got a lot of minions. He's he pretty much has to take out my my field at this point, or at least my assassin. Um, my assassin combined with my archmage here, um, that'll finish him. So he's got to do something. I, I guess not just combined with my archmage, but looks like he pulls a gadget zan auctioneer. If I'm not mistaken, the, whenever you draw a card, or when, no, whenever you cast a spell, you draw a card. But if he doesn't play a taunt card here, he's going to be in trouble. He needs to play a taunt card. Each player draws two cards. It looks like he's going to get a little bit of benefit out of that. Oh, no, he's not. That's just drawing a card to begin with. Looks like I can follow up here with a, a blizzard, though. Oh, that's, that's game. Hate to break it to you, that is game. I'm going to play my uh, Ancient Mage here. And with that, I can Blizzard his entire field. And follow up for the win. Just like that. Came around. I was actually a little bit concerned about that match. Uh, I He had me in the early game. I was able to come away. I was actually even able... Wow, I got like two or three levels. Oh, no, I didn't. Um, so I'm almost level 20, but uh, came around, pulled a victory out of that one, and super exciting. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is uh, YouTube channel Super Mega Awesome Time. I'm going to continue through this, but if you guys want to continue, be sure to check the next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.